Hello all, hope you are all well. Today's video is about the carpet lining on my van, as you can see in the back. What we'll be covering today is what materials were used and how we applied it. Explain to you how we went about business with regards to putting the carpet lining on the van. Uh, I also put a description down below for you to the channel that I use, uh, Coombe Valley Campers. Absolutely amazing. They'll take you through a step-by-step -step process. Right, when I first got this van, it was a panel van. Didn't have any of the carpet lining uh, involved and felt quite cold. So what I did was get onto Coombe Valley Campers. I got a delivery for the carpet, for the contact adhesive, and I also put a delivery in for Stanley blades. Now you're going to need a lot of these to cut through the four-way stitch in this particular one anyway because this was one I bought from Coombe Valley Campers, an off-cut. Uh, you can see it is a thick material and there's an ever so slight stretch in these in all directions which helps really well for when you're fitting this to the van. Now Contact adhesive, as Coombe Valley Campers mentions, you want to apply that to the carpet and to the body side of the uh, vehicle, and that'll help to, to adhere fully after a period of, uh, of drying. Right, where will you put said items? All along, all along here. So what I did, I took out all the original paneling, I sand deadened and I insulated the back. Um, and then I apply the carpet over the metal faces and the areas that were exposed after that. Um, and following the, the advice of Lee at Coombe Valley Campers, it turned out to do, to be a pretty good job. So I'm quite happy with it. Uh, well, I'm very happy with it. In fact, uh, it's clean, professional finish. And um, that carpet of that thickness really does the trick. And you'll apply it is by removing the van so you start with a complete shell uh, you obviously give it a good dig out clean out the, the vehicle and then depending on whether you're going to be putting the, the ply boards on first afterwards um, I put the option in to, to put them on afterwards so the boards went on I was going to put a, the boards across the back here I decided to go against that I like the look of the, the carpet lining with the, the panel in at the lower end so yeah you want to make sure it's all completely clear clean it out good dig out going to insulate it uh, you want to do your sound deadening and insulation and if you want to put any wiring in for, for lighting you want to be putting that at that point prior to putting the carpet into the vehicle now why would you put carpet lining in a van well apart from it being aesthetically pleasing you've got a, a magnitude of colors that you can select from uh, and different thicknesses um, apart from that it gives it a cozy feeling so whereas before I had the van it was kind of a tin feeling which is exactly what the design uh, of the van was for um, the carpet lining gave it that that comfort um, so yeah I went for this color um, it still works with being outdoors um, easy to clean um, but obviously this paneling is a wipeable surface so um, these sort of areas don't really come in contact with boots or outdoor, outdoors equipment that tends to stay in this location at the front of the bed uh, so it tends to stay around this area behind the cab seats um, for muddy boots and such which works for me uh, how you go about applying it so I'll leave the link below uh, Lee at Coombe Valley Campers is an absolute diamond he's also ex-forces um, so I like to support his channel as best as I can um, so anybody who's watching this I recommend that you click on the link below and follow his video um, what I'm going to do now is show you a bit of a montage of before and after videos pictures um, of how we went about completing the van I hope you enjoy uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel that would be really appreciated um, I've got an I've got an awesome response for uh, continuing I'm just setting up the channel. Um, I do appreciate you guys uh, and I look forward to the next video. Enjoy.